So I went and saw Monuments Men today, and I'm just probably going to talk about that for this uh, vlog. I give it a 6 out of 10. Um, I, I was really excited to go see it when I first saw trailers for it back in December, because I was just... Uh, I was just so excited because it's about art, and I am an art lover. I just, it makes me so happy. Well, that part of the movie really made me happy, just seeing all these things like the Ghent Ultra Peace, uh, the Last Supper that the um, people in Italy were trying to protect when they were getting bombs thrown down. That made me kind of, like, I twitched a couple times, like, oh god, don't let it break. I mean, I know it's safe, although it's been put through so much crap, and it's definitely worn, it's become worn down over the centuries. Centuries? Yes, sorry, centuries. I can do math, more or less. Anyway, um, yeah, that made me kind of, that made me kind of twitch. I'm like, oh god, don't break it. And when I saw the, um, when I saw the uh, soldiers burning the arch because they didn't want the Americans or just the Allies to get their hands on it, I was just like, no. I mean, I know it's not the actual art, but just knowing that that happened and that all these beautiful pieces of art were out there and that they existed and then they got destroyed. It just breaks my heart. I didn't cry because I just, I don't, I just, I didn't, but it broke my heart because I'm like, no, don't burn the art. Don't burn the art. And, and they just, they took all of this art and God knows how much, like, like it really made me sad when I, uh, I'm not going to remember names too well, but the guy with the glasses uh, found the frame that had Pablo Picasso on the bottom. He's like, they burned Picasso. And I'm like, uh, it just, that really hurt because I'm like, it just, I don't even want to think about how much art got destroyed because just because they either didn't like the Nazis didn't like it or they just didn't want anyone else to get their hands on it when they had when you know um oh well, when the end of the war was coming and it just makes me sad it's like why are you gonna be like that just <sighs> this is ugh. and yeah but just some other things about the film like I I'm no art I'm no film critic let me just make that perfectly clear I'm just telling you what I thought of the film I uh, I heard at first when they got it when they delayed it for February um I was I didn't I was kind of like why are they delaying it and at first I heard it was because of uh, uh because Alexander Desplat I, I'm probably not pronouncing that name correctly at all I apologize wanted to fix up the score a little and I'm like okay I could see that but I kind of figured that there was more to it than that but they just that was the, an excuse that they were going with so there was that and then I heard in my art history class that uh, apparently it was too funny. Like, the, the film itself had too many, like, funny moments in it. And the guy who wrote the book that this movie was based on was like, no, don't put my name in this film if you're going to make it that funny. And, oh, I also haven't read the book, so um, I, I don't know if that just... I'm not, like, going to compare the book to the movie or vice versa because I frankly haven't read it yet. But, uh, yeah, and so I was like, okay, I could see that because, I mean, I, I did enjoy the funny bits in the film, but I just... I don't know, maybe... I kind of ruined it for me, though, because people were like, it was a bit too funny. I'm like, well, I kind of don't mind humor in the film, but then I kind of kept looking for all the funny bits, and I'm like, yeah, how much fun... Like, this was relatively... Like, some bits were relatively funny, and just, uh... uh which I kind of enjoyed. Like, I really loved all the bits with Bill Murray. I mean, I, I don't just... He... That was great. And I loved the bits with John Goodman. I mean, he wasn't always funny all the time, but I love it when he was with um, Jean-Claude, the French soldier who was in the group. That, that just, oh, they were a great pair. I really enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, that was just, I don't know, I guess the humor, maybe they should have turned it down a little. I'm not sure. The other thing I really didn't like was the suggested put potential romance between uh, Kate Blanchett's character and Matt Damon's character. It's just, well, for one thing, I didn't like it because he's married, and I'm like, dude, you're married. She's just like, well, you're in Paris. You know, things happen. And it's like, I mean, I know that this is probably just my personal opinion getting in with biasing myself with this, but I'm like, one, he's married. Two, they just, no. She's more interested in the art, and I really like that, like, when they had the dinner. Oh, sorry, spoilers, by the way. When they were having the dinner in France, or sorry, in her apartment, and, uh, she was just, I kind of was like, oh god, please don't try and make stupid chemistry. I don't want chemistry. The only chemistry I want is the chemistry between these art historians slash architects and the art. Which I did appreciate, just that made me so happy. But anyway, just, I didn't want any chemistry between Kate Blanchett's character and Matt Damon's. And thankfully they toned it down pretty well. I did like, okay, I will, I did like the bit with the tie. That made me happy. And at the end when he has the tie on the, um on the railroad, on the train, and she finds it and she smells something. I thought that was cute, and plus the tie's just kind of cool. But I just didn't like the suggested, you know, thing. And I love it when she just kind of snapped out of it and brought in the, the ledger with all the details about the art that was stolen or just confiscated. 
that made me so happy. It's like, good. Her first, her priority is clearly the art. And I'm like, yes. Cause just, uh, it made me so happy. And I'm like, I'm just really glad they toned down the whole potential romance because I did not feel any chemistry and all romance. It was just like, no, stop it. So I'm glad that it happened. The only romance I really saw was the romance between the art and the guys. Art. Sorry, I just, I can't help it because I'm just like, oh, they were so occupied with the art. And I also really like in the movie, they also made the, um, the, uh, this, the connection, like if, um, in the trivia on IMDb for this film, they mentioned the Rape of Europa documentary, which is fantastic. Oh my god. And I think this, if they, I, I haven't read the book, but I kind of was basing, comparing more of the movie to the Rape of Europa, kind of, but not a lot. Just, I remember when they, I forgot the name of the structure itself, but at the very beginning of the movie, when uh, uh, George Clooney's character is showing the president the slide of the, uh, of this, uh, like, 6th century, the uh, 6th century, uh, uh, location or uh, building constructed by St. Benedict. I just, I remember that in the Rape of Europa documentary, how they were like, well, try and preserve the, the um, try and preserve this building. It was kind of that question besides, do you put the art first or the soldiers? And I, I understand that because it's like, you want to preserve the art, but then you kind of have to take the soldiers into consideration. And they were talking about how it's like, preserve the, you know, preserve St. Benedict's, the structure. And then the soldiers kind of like, well, what about us? And we're, you know, I mean, What's more important, lives or souls, lives or art? And they do make that point valid, and they make that valid point in this film too. I just love that, and um, because it is a kind of question. It's like you want to preserve the art because you know, it, whatever you might think about art, I think it is important. I am biased because you know I'm an art history student, and I am, if you can't tell, I'm obsessed with art. But I just, it, it's good for culture, and just. It's, I mean, it, it can be pretty, but it's not always pretty, but it's just, it, there's so much culture behind it. Like, even, I don't know if this is true, but someone even said of the, Gold, the Ghent altarpiece, it's like the most well-known or just most significant piece of Catholic art in, Cat, in Catholicism. And so it's like, do you really just want to let that go? I mean, it's, you know, they're not, and maybe not all pieces are significant, but it's art. It has, it's a different perspective on history. It, it does have its purpose. Although if push comes to shove, I would say, I mean, not push comes to shove, but I mean, that sounded so wrong. I would definitely pick someone's life over the art. Unless, of course, it's Hitler, but we're not getting into that. Just, yeah, I mean, it, it does prove a valid point because some people who just frankly have no interest in art or who just kind of have different priorities, like, look, it's art. We don't need to focus on, we have bigger fish to fry here than art. And I understand their viewpoint, but I'm also kind of like, but art, there's, it's important. And it's just, I guess it's a debate that could keep going on forever. So, yeah. Yeah, and um, that was interesting. One other thing I wasn't quite fond of in the film was George Clooney himself, because I just, uh, I mean, he seemed pretty invested in the film. I mean, he's directing it and whatnot, but just... I don't know, whenever you should see a film with George Clooney more, I'm just like, it's George Clooney. I'm not like, oh, it's his character. And, I mean, this wasn't his best. Like, maybe the only exception might have been Michael Clayton, where I'm like, that's not George Clooney. That's actually, you know, Michael Clayton, because that film is just, yes. I mean, sometimes you are aware it's George Clooney, because, you know, George Clooney is pretty easy to spot. But just, I just, I don't know. It seemed kind of like he phoned it in a little bit. I mean, there were some great moments, but just... The speech when they're testing out, when he, he gives, when they're testing out the radios to see if they're working, I'm just kind of like, uh, so cliche. I mean, I just, uh, I don't know. I just, it didn't feel like he had his heart in it. Just, I guess I kind of felt it was phoned in. I mean, there were some good bits, but just, and the film also seemed very Ocean's Eleven at the beginning. It's like he has to get all these guys together and just, and Matt Damon's in it too, so I mean, he, frankly, that doesn't help any. I mean, I know Matt Damon can act and, you know, he can disappear into a role. I totally believe that. I mean, for example, Seaborn Identity. Love that. Anyway, but um just I he can disappear into a role. Just not with this one. Um although just uh, although I do love it when um George Clooney's character was kind of very uh, keen to find the Madonna and Child statue. Uh, sco uh sculpture, excuse me. I did like that. Like he seemed very preoccupied because of what happened with Donald. And here's another thing about the movie that kind of bugged me. It was all very, and we, that was this was also pointed out in my by my professor in my art history course. It seems to be more more focused on Americans. I mean, they had like um, 
Donald, who is a British character, and uh, Jean-Claude, who is, if you couldn't guess, French by his name. But anyway, and I really like those characters. I was just like, I like them both. And I really like Donald, and I was really sad when what, you saw what happened to him. And I was really sad about Jean-Claude, too, and, I'm, and, and I was just so sad about them both, especially John Goodman and Jean-Claude, or John Goodman's character and, and Jean-Claude. It was just, they worked really well off of each other, and that made me happy. And then it's just, and I love that uh, John Goodman's character was at Jean-Claude's funeral at the end. That just... I love that part. That just, that really made me happy and sad because just, I'm happy that he was so close, but then it's just, when you see where he is at the end, it's like, babies. And Donald just, just, apparently he kind of, uh, I guess his, his drinking kind of got in the way of his career and that kind of ruined him and, uh, and yet, uh, George Clooney's character gave him a chance and then he tries to protect the Madonna and Child uh, sculpture and uh, just, and he dies trying to, you know, trying to take it out before the Germans get there. And that's just, that makes me, and the letter, oh, the letter he wrote, that just, oh, it made me so happy. And the other thing I didn't like about Jean-Claude and Don dying is that none of the Americans died, but the British person and the French person both go. It's like, really? Really? And the thing that my professor pointed out was that it wasn't just Americans who were doing this. It was like they had other, like they had European people come in, not just like two guys who, one British, one French, like they had other people coming in. And also that the Russians weren't, like the Russian art collect, art restoration people weren't the bad guys either. I think they were called the Trophy Troop or something like that. They're kind of like the Monuments Men, except they are uh, the Russian version. But, and they weren't even in there that long. It's just, I don't know, it seemed kind of all, oh yeah, America. And I'm like, oh, come on. It just, uh, I didn't like that. Especially at the end when they were hanging up the American flag when the Russians got there at the mine when they were trying to recover the statue. I did say spoilers, so I'm just saying. Don't get it, don't give me grief about that. And I was just like, uh, why'd you do that? Would you have hung that up if Donald had been there? Or John claude Or would you have hung up a French and a UK flag as well? Just, I'm just saying. It was the UK at that point, right? If not, I apologize. The flag that represents Britain, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and... Uh, yeah. That's right, is it? I, I, I try, I swear I try. Anyway, um, so yeah, I was just... I was kind of like, you're laying on the Ameri like America thing too, a bit too thick. That just kind of made me sad. And it didn't help that my professor told me this before. Uh, before I saw the movie, so I'm kind of expecting all this kind of America stuff, and it wasn't that bad, but it was just kind of like, re well, although I did like that they had Sam, the uh, German, well, he he's from New Jersey, well, he's from Germany, but then he went to New Jersey back in 38, so, you know, they're not like, he can't be trusted, he's German, so, um, you know, I did like that, and he was very, he was a big, a good part of it, like, he was a translator, and he was helping them recover, and the Rembrandt bit, when he gets to see the Rembrandt self-portrait, that made me happy, but just... I don't know. I was a little, I, I was kind of disappointed. And it didn't help that I kind of heard some not so good reviews from my classmates and my professor beforehand. So I was kind of like, I was kind of, I was kind of just not wanting to go as much because I'm like, I want to go. But now that I've heard these not so good things, I'm kind of like, Ugh. so there's that as well. And uh, yeah. Now, let me tell you about the things that made me so happy. Uh, Bill Murray's character, the guy with the glasses, John Goodman's character, Jean-Claude, Donald, and the art. Ugh, the art. I don't care if it was a reproduct like they were reproductions, but just like in the beginning when you see like the um when you see the uh, priest taking down taking the the uh, Ghent altarpiece apart, like not like destroying it, but they had to take it out of the um thing that holds the the, the thing together, that holds the paint the pieces of the painting together. Oh god, it was just and they were really solemn about that because they're just so desperate to get it away because they don't want the Nazis to get it, and then they do, and it's like, and it just makes me so sad, because it's like, they're just, they're so tenacious, it's like, um, also in The Rape of Europa, they were talking about how, um, the Lou, like, when they knew that the, um, Germans were coming to invade France, or at least Paris, like, they, all these people went to, all these people in the Louvre were, um, uh, I apologize for my pronunciation again, were going in and taking out, and taking out all of the pieces of art so the Germans couldn't get their hands on it, and I love it because, like, I remember, um, uh, the, like, there's Nike of Soma Thorace, and, uh, they had to, like, carefully get her down the steps, and they had to, like, wrap, uh, wrap her up in, like, uh, planks of wood, and it was, excuse me, it was all very, um, kind of nerve-wracking because it's, like, she is, like, God knows how, she's, like, centuries old, and, 
and you have to be so delicate with her and just oh she's so pretty but they got her out just fine thank god and then the mona lisa as well like they um they, they took out the Mona Lisa because, you know, that's like the pro that's like, it's the Mona Lisa. So they put her in this gorgeous thing and they keep her out, out in the country of France for, or they keep her out in the countryside of France. Like they kind of trade her around so the Germans could never find it and they never got their hands on it, which is cool. And um, I think that was, yeah, they, I'm pretty sure would have heard about it if they had gotten their hands on the Mona Lisa. So yeah, they never got their hands on it, which I was just like, yes. Good. Oh, it's just I love that one. It's kind of like, haha, fuck you guys. It's like I think I heard about this thing with them. Um, I'm not sure where I might have read this on Wikipedia, frankly. But like, I remember when I or I read somewhere that like when Hitler came into France or Paris, excuse me, he wanted to uh, ride the Eiffel Tower to the top, but the elevator was busted because somebody just I guess trimmed some wires to make it not workable. So Hitler never, I guess he didn't want to go up so badly because he never got it fixed. And then when finally uh, Germany exited, uh, finally left France and Paris, uh, apparently someone went and fixed the elevator again so it could function properly. So I'm kind of like, ha ha, it's the little things. It's like, fuck you, Hitler. Yeah, anyway, just, yeah. But back to the art, just, oh, all the art. It's so pretty. And just like in the, um, in the, uh, in the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but, the, uh, we'll just call it the church place. The church, I think, where um, they were holding the uh, Mona, Madonna and Child by Michelangelo. Uh, Michelangelo, excuse me. And, uh, or whichever you prefer. Um, and just how Donald was, like, watching, looking up at it. Because he was so excited and he was telling his dad about it. And just the candle lighting, lighting it up and making it look so nice. It was just, it was so cool. The atmosphere, just, ah, uh, it's so cool. And and then all these I I, I won't well, I didn't recognize all the pieces but it's just it's like art all the pretties and just it, made, it was so cool because it was like you recognize some of the portraits and it's just so cool because it's like look at all that art just I I I am very happy when I see art like that but again I was just it, I twitched like I was just like I flinched whenever I saw them burning the art even though it wasn't it just it was like no don't burn the art it's no. And just, it's, I, I kind of equate it to, like, the Library of Alexandria. God only knows how many paintings they burned, but just so much was lost and we'll never know. And just, I mean, some of it I think we already do know about because, thankfully, some people took pictures of them. But just, we're never really going to know about some of those pieces that were lost. And that's sad. It's like the Library of Alexandria because God only knows what that library contained of wonder. You just, you don't know. So, Yeah. And yeah, that's that. So that was the one thing that was kind of, that's probably why I gave it a six out of 10 instead of like a, I don't know, a five out of 10. Cause it wasn't that bad. Just, I don't know. It's just, I think I definitely liked supporting, I liked the supporting cast more than the leading cast. So yeah, I think I've covered most of it. That was pretty good. I don't know. I might have to go see it again just so I can um, re just review everything again so I can write my paper properly. But yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe it will help if I see it again, but I don't think so. It just some of it I didn't really care for. So yeah. Anyway, I think this review is long enough. So um, I'm gonna go and I uh, hope you all stick stuck around for uh, watch uh, watching this. If not, it's cool. No worries. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.